Hey, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Today I'm going to show you about the foraging behavior of the common honeybee and how different it is from when it is defending its colony. When it's out and about foraging, by that I mean getting water, looking for pollen, getting nectar for stores in the hive, all that sort of thing, uh, they generally are pretty concerned with the task at hand and not so concerned with you. As you can see here are some bees right here that have come up here uh, to this little watering hole which happens to be a um, bird fountain in one of our outside yards and uh, there's lots of different pollinators that come up here. Solitary bees which do not live in colonies, um, wasps, uh, dragonflies, birds of course because it is a bird bath and of course lots of bees. We keep this water fresh. And if you look right now it's empty. Just give it a moment here and it'll come back uh, to life. Uh, here's a wasp. Uh, here's uh, a couple more wasps. In a moment we'll get a couple bees here. And then what I want to show you is how docile they are because uh, they are not trying to defend their hive. There is no pheromones that are being put off by the queen or by any defender bee saying we've got a problem here. And so uh, pretty much they're just um, busy doing what they're going to do here. And uh, a moment ago when I started this film I had probably Oh, 10, 15 bees here. And as you can see, here's a little amber one that's landed. And I just want to show you here. We'll see here if this even, look at here. I'm touching its wing and uh, it doesn't really care. As you can see, there's no defensive behavior. It's not getting upset. Sometimes it'll let you pet their heads even. See there, I'm touching its head and it's like, okay, I'll wander away a little bit. Here's another one over here. Let's see if this one will let me touch it a little bit. Yeah, see, they're just like, trying to get water, so they don't care about that. So that's just an interesting thing to know about the bee. Um, sometimes this gets us humans into trouble, like it did me when I was about seven years old. There's a bee doing this, and I thought, I can catch it, and I did. I put it inside my hand, and you know the results. I got stung, and of course, I haven't done that again in many, many years. Hope you like to see this behavior, get a little bit under, more understanding of our pollinator friends, and uh, that out in the field, you can just let them uh, do their thing. One other thing I wanted to mention, is that bees sound differently in their buzzing when they're in a defensive mode as well as just doing their regular housekeeping and doing the task to keep the, the hive robust. And that is when they're flying around like this, they just have this gentle hum. It's kind of like a hmm sound, okay? Uh, and if they were in a defensive mode, trying to warn you off or perhaps a stinging attack is gonna start because of some egregious thing that's being done to them, then you're going to get a real edgy sound. It's going to be a real sound like that versus a hmm. So you can just listen for that. Some interesting bee behavior. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you did, like it and pass it on to someone else. And visit our channel at DirtFarmerJay.com. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay.